Welcome back to Data's Factory, Episode 9. Looking at our power consumption here, our maximum consumption, and the power that we get from our 12 coal plants. I think we are going to need some more electricity being generated. So we're going to go build a whole new power plant. Looking at my other coal plants, they use 15 coal per minute which is perfect because a fully overclocked impure coal node with an MK2 miner is going to produce 150 coal per minute. That means each one of those can give me 10 coal factories. So let's see, we need 40 coal power plants, coal generators, to use all of the coal. And then we need 16 water extractors to power all of those plants. So now I'm going to run around and get all this stuff that's on our list here. And I'll be back. So I realize we're going to run into one major problem after building the entire new power plant that we're going to build. And that's the fact that it's going to take quite a bit of power in order to get it up and running and producing power. So we have a simple solution. I'm going to put in 10 power storage buildings. So now, hopefully those will be fully charged by the time we finish the power plant. Now I've got this tractor filled with stuff that I'm gonna need. I'm sure I forgot something, I'm gonna have to come back anyway, but I'm trying to do it all in one trip. Sliding all over the place. All right. So somewhere around this spot is where I'm going to build everything. And yeah, let's just... Right. That's going to be nice. Nice and big. Now let's see what our water extra extractors along this look like. Let's get as close to this edge as we can. Let's go there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. I I planned that out perfectly. So there's eight there. And let's go ahead and widen this. Let's 
just so I have enough room to move around on it. Alright, we're going to call that good. Don't know yet where all 40 coal plants are going to go. Oh, we're not done with the water extractors yet, though. Alright, that is all 16 of the water pumps that we are going to need. And let's go ahead and figure out how to get electricity to all of them, as well as all of their outputs going where I want them to. We are going to need a little more than two of them per pipe. I wish I had the MK2 pipes. So what we are going to need is stackable pipes. With a space in the middle, I think, for me to actually walk down. And hopefully that's not too far from them. And we just want one right in the middle. Like so. And let's see if that works. That does work quite nicely. Which means we are going to go with that. Right in between each one of these. Alright, so we are going to want to combine them in some way. As we need 60 from the next one. In order to finish this up. And then we set up the exact same system on this other side. So let's get all the right amount of stackable segments. And we are going to have six full pipes when this is done. First step, connecting all of the bottoms so we can get those cross beams in, the junctions. And now let's get those junctions in.
now we just have to delete the appropriate ones that need to be removed. So this would be one. And then this would be one. Now let's connect all the other pipes going up. That'll have to go up because this goes up. Top. Middle. Top. Middle. Top. Middle. And now this junction is the other junction that we have to deal with. Ooh, better yet. No, never mind. I don't want to do that. Unless a junction here. It would keep it in line. But it doesn't feel right. It feels like that would be flowing into that rather than the other way. So let's go ahead and leave that because that feels more normal. It just means that we are going to need to put this one right next to it and then right above it. And then we've got those right next to each other. And that works. So this one comes up and splits off that way after filling this up of course. And this one will come up, also fill that up, and split off that way. So it's really the same thing. Really is. Now we just connect all of these. And I feel like I should get my electricity over here because we want these pipes to be full anyway so if we run them right away it'll give them plenty of time to fill up I don't want to do just a power pole with cables running across I don't think that's gonna look very good and I'm trying to make things now that at least look a little bit better so I'm gonna set up right over here a blueprint designer and we're going to figure out what looks good in front of these pumps there we go oh man there we go. Now we got it. Now we're good. Let's do this. That comes out. That comes out. Now, before I get too carried away with putting all those walls in, I'm actually going to go through and paint all this real quick. So I feel like that's going to be a little bit easier before I get the rest of that put in.
Because this is all water, I decided we were going to paint it all blue. I think that's making it look real nice. I don't really like the fix it orange. So I'm going with water pump blue. There we go. Paint this side. Oh, and I'm going to have to tear all those out that didn't place properly. So I think the trick I figured out with blueprints is to pretty much always have everything on a foundation. And now we are going to do... Is your water not working? It's working! Do you want to sit up here and watch? Or do you want a movie? You want a movie, don't you? Probably shouldn't do a movie. You slept in pretty late. You want to just hang out with me? Yeah, let's just hang out with me. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. Let's put in the two foundation ones. Oh, those are going to be a little trickier. But I got it. All right. Perfect. Uh-oh. Was it not perfect? No, it was perfect. Okay. We just got to aim right at the edge. Just right, apparently. Come on. I really do not understand why it seems so much different down here. Yeah? Oh, I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Like, why did it work over here, but it's not working over here? I am really struggling with how to use blueprints. <laughs> really don't want to have to do that, but if that's what I need to do to use it, then I would rather use a few more. <laughs> well, that seems... Oh! You made me jump off, buddy! Yeah, you you did that. You caused that. You did it.
Yeah, if that's what I have to do to get this where I want it, then so be it. Oh, it worked over there. Man, you are talkative today. Alright, it looks like I gotta have them both under there, I guess. Hopefully it's not the same for the one. Or is it gonna be exactly the same? I'm going to, yep, I'm gonna have to do it. Okay. Now all I have to do is connect all the power lines. All right, that is everything connected. So now I should, ooh, there we go. Connect it all the way up to there. And I wonder if that'll reach here. It does, good. So now both sides of pumps are all connected up to there, which I can then run back to my main base. And that's going to take 320 megawatts, which I should have the power to spare that. I don't know why you're having so much trouble with this sippy today. It works. Do you want something other than water? Do you want milk? Milk? Okay, I will go get you milk. Alright, so that is it for all of the water extractors that we needed to run our 40 coal generators. I think this is getting to be a pretty long episode, so I am going to call this the end of episode 9. It is our 40 coal generator part 1. Episode 10 will be part 2, where we will build the 40 coal generators and run all four coal nodes to them. Everybody have a good night and see you next time.